Hi everyone, today we're going to be making this 1950s strawberry Bavarian cream, and it's very good. Hi everyone, today we're making another 1950s recipe called Strawberry Bavarian Cream. This recipe only has three ingredients, so it's really simple. For this recipe, you will need 10 ounces of frozen and then thawed strawberries, a package of strawberry jello, and one cup of cream that has been whipped until stiff. In this bowl, we are going to mix the jello. with one cup of boiling water. Um, I did look for a natural strawberry jello, but we could not find it anywhere. So I decided to just make the recipe anyway and to use just the regular jello brand. I forgot how crazy red this is. It's bright, bright red. The recipe said to use the juice from the strawberries with, mixed with cold water um, for the cup of cold water, but it doesn't look like a whole lot of juice came out of my strawberries. Um, they were whole, and I think that might be part of it. There wasn't a whole lot. I'll see what I can get, and then I'll just have to use mostly water, I think. There's only about a tablespoon, so I'm going to crush a few of these strawberries just a little bit um, to get out some of the juice. Alright, so I have about a third of a cup of strawberry juice, and I'm going to add enough cold water to make that into a cup. Alright, now we're going to put this strawberry jello into the fridge until it starts to firm up, and then we'll move on to the next step. So the jello is almost firm still a bit soft but it's getting gelled. Um, now I'm going to beat this until it is foamy. Hopefully this is at the right uh, consistency. Not quite sure how firm they want it to be but we'll try. This is a good time to stop because the top and the center were less set up, but the bottom and sides are pretty gelled. All right, this is really foamy now. I'm going to add the strawberries. The whole ones I'm going to cut in half because I don't want there to be quite so much, uh, quite such big pieces. And then we're going to add the whipped cream. Now we're going to gently fold this together. I again chose 
bubble that was a little bit too small. This is well combined. Um, the stuff on the sides is kind of stuck on. I scrape off some of it, but not all of it. That's just because it morphed. Anyways, now that this is combined, we're going to put it into a mold. Um, this is a three cup mold, but I've learned it holds a little bit more than that. Um, the recipe calls for a one cup. I mean, a one quart mold. So we'll see. I think I can get all of this in here almost. Yeah, never mind. So the extra, I'm going to put in these cute little cups. The recipe said you could put it in a one quart mold or you could serve them in individual portions. Alright, so this worked out perfectly. We have the two glasses and this three cup mold full. And I'm going to put this in the fridge until it's completely firm. So this is done. And I'm going to unmold this one on a platter. Not quite as hard as it could be. I melted it a little bit too much, I think. That's fun. Also, the little chunks of gelatin that didn't quite mix in are all at the top because they sunk to the bottom of the mold. So the recipe calls for garnishing with whipped cream and strawberries or another kind of fruit. Um, I was going to use my strawberries, but they look kind of a bit rough, the ones I do have. So I'm not sure if I'm going to use those now or not, but I put the whipped cream in a piping bag. I'm not sure how well it'll pipe, but I'll try it. I'm going to try it on the larger one first because it is larger and needs more whipped cream, but also because I think I'm going to try to do more of this on the top to kind of cover up the red because I think it makes it not quite as nice as it could be. And I don't really know. piping tip this is. I just gotta grab one. But this looks cool. Not really sure what I'm going to do, but we'll try a pattern. Not really sure what kind of pattern that is, but just go with that. And I'll leave some on here. I want to keep it straight up and down. See what that looks like. Not the most artistic, but it does look kind of neat. And this one, I think I want to do a ring. Okay, I think that was a mistake and I should have gone with the other one instead. But this is kind of fun. Let's add a little bit more to this. This is kind of puddling out a lot as it sits, actually. So I think I'm just going to garnish these, take a quick picture, and be done for now. <laughs> you know what? I could do some around the edge. So like I said, not the prettiest strawberries, but I do have a few. And I will just put those on there. They um, kind of froze a little bit at the back of the fridge, so they're not the 
prettiest. But they are strawberries and they do complete the look. These are cute. I really like them. I think they look sweet. Remind me of the strawberry um, milkshake. This one though is really puddling. cute these are like I said there's a bit of um, gelatin because it did get harder but I mean like look at how adorable that is especially the side because it does have the um, ridges anyways um, the molded one did start to like kind of puddle out more so I put that back in the fridge um, I think it was kind of three things one leaving out for a while to take the pictures and videos I needed of it um, I think I also left it in hot water a little bit too long, but I think it was just also didn't have quite enough gelatin. Um, so yeah, if I made this again, as of right now, I have not tried it, but if I made it again, I would definitely want to figure out my own kind of jello packet thing. Um, I'd probably just use cherry juice, flavor it and sweeten it. Um, not just, not just the juice, the strawberry juice to sweeten it. I think I said cherry. I would use strawberry juice for the flavor. Um, I don't really like using artificial flavorings and red dye and stuff. I just don't like that. If I wanted more of an intense pink or red, I would use a natural colorant like beet powder because you don't taste it at all. Um, and I would just use the strawberry juice to flavor it. However, I did not have time to plan for that and figure that out. And we look everywhere for strawberry gelatin. Could not find any but the Jello brand. So this is what we'll have to do for now. Um, I'm really excited to try it though. It looks very pretty. I think this would present very nicely. Um, it's a bright pink color. These glasses make it look really nice. And the strawberry whipped cream. It's just very simple, easy dessert. That looks really well, uh, nice. And I'm so glad I got these for the 1920s videos because I have been using them a lot. They're so nice for parfaits and things. Anyway, to try it. Like I said, it's almost like a mousse whenever I got the spoonful of it. I think because it's whipped and because it sat out for a little bit, I just keep showing it because I think it looks so pretty. Um, because it sat out a little while in a warm room and because it's whipped, I think that's why it's like really foamy. Mmm. This is really, really good. It's a lot lighter in texture than I expected. It almost tastes like, it is like a fruit mousse. That's what it tastes like. It's really good. I just realized I didn't get any with the actual strawberry in it. So I'm gonna try that. So the strawberry gives it a nice texture. It's kind of like when you have a chocolate mousse, you have the really light, airy, chocolate mousse and then you have a lot of times they'll layer that with sponge cake or graham cracker crumbs or something like that and that's kind of how the strawberry acts in this um it gives it a bit of a texture change um really light and airy um this is really good um i think i definitely need to make flink a healthier version of this um just with different kind of jello um i think if you used strawberry juice as only strawberry juice is your water and just did some gelatin like with a normal um jello like recipe that they use then I think it would work just fine have plenty of flavor um and the whipped cream makes this really nice you could probably make a cherry version of this too with using cherry juice which would be easier than using strawberry juice um and they do little bits of like cherries or maraschino cherries in it and top it the same way but with you know a cherry instead of strawberry I think that would be really fun. So I definitely want to make this again. It was really, really fun. Um, like I said, I'd probably change some things, but this is fun. And it's a nice, light dessert. I also thought it was kind of fun because the lady who made this recipe lived in Missouri. 
um, and I really like Missouri. And yeah, she said she was known for her cool desserts during the summer. And this was one of her favorites. So I hope that you make this recipe and that you enjoy it. And if you're enjoying this series, please share one of your favorites with a friend or online. Um, I would be very grateful. I want to try to get 500 subscribers by the end of the year so I can do community posts to update you guys more often. And you have to have 500 subscribers before they'll allow you to do that. So that's kind of my my little goal for this year. Um, part of me thinks I could, I could do it. The other part of me is like, 500? Are you sure? <laughs> Anyways, I'd like to get to 500 by the end of the year. So I can start doing community, community posts, do different polls and things, um, ask you guys questions, update you whenever I, a video will be delayed or whatever. Just to keep in touch with you guys more. Um, so yeah, if you could share that, I would really appreciate it, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!